And the Chesterfield family is recovering after a massive fire forced them out of their home. It happened on Carriage Creek Road near Charter Colony early Friday morning. 8 News reporter Autumn Childress spoke with the family and Autumn. They are still very shaken up tonight, which is understandable. Well, it absolutely is, Deanna, very shaken up. In fact, holding back tears during our interview today. This family says they're now forced to pick up the pieces and figure out how to move forward after losing everything. Our whole life was in that house. A family of five in Chesterfield devastated after flames tore through their roof Friday night, destroying everything in their path. It's all kind of caved caved in, so there really isn't much left in there. This house on Carriage Creek Road holding the memories of Stephanie Mulheim, her husband and three children. Now, caution tape and a fence signaling it's too dangerous to go inside. The floors are all collapsed and it's heartbreaking to imagine what if we would have been here when when that happened. Fortunately, no one was hurt in the fire. The family had just left for Florida when neighbors started calling with the news early Friday morning. Those neighbors snapping these pictures as fire crews rushed to the scene. You know, I didn't I didn't really know how to react. And then after that, it was just been a firestorm of phone calls. This family now scrambling to pick up the pieces. There's still a lot of unknowns. We don't really know exactly what's going to happen next. Right now they're staying at an extended stay hotel and the clothes on their backs all donated from the community. Replacing, you know, things, birth certificates, social security cards. Molheim says it's been hard to process the tragedy, but she's thankful that everyone is safe and for the help from her community. They've been Fantastic. Our local community here in Brander Mill, the neighboring churches, um, the firefighters, police department, really the only reason that we've been able to get through what we have so far. Now tonight, it's still unclear what caused this fire. Again, no one was home at the time. Of course, we'll keep you updated as this story develops. For now, though, live in Chesterfield, Autumn Childress, 8 News.